So I have a tutorial about how to do color correction on an image using Camera Raw, which is a really cool way to do it. Um, but I'm going to show you how to do color correction um, within Photoshop because we can discuss a few sort of elements about color correction while we're doing it and because it's kind of a nice thing to know. I'm going to open up the Lighthouse TIFF file, right? And what we get is kind of a gray, ugly lighthouse, um, not suitable for a travel brochure, although we can pretend that that's why it was photographed and now we need to fix it. Um, and so what we're going to do is use color correction on this to make it a little bit more interesting. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to double click my background layer. I want to show you that by double clicking it, you can change it into layer zero. You cannot make any changes to something that is called background but you can make changes to things that are a layer. The next thing I'm going to do, though, is duplicate that layer, right? And by duplicating the layer and cancel, I can rename it and call it something very exciting like layer one, okay? By duplicating the layer and then hiding the bottom layer, I have this layer here so that I always have the original to refer to if I want to look back at it. And then choosing the first layer, because that's the one we're going to be working on, I then choose to put in a Levels Adjustment layer. You see up here, this is the Adjustment panel, right? I can choose the Levels Adjustment layer. Now the thing about an Adjustment layer too is you can turn them on and off, which is very handy. You can also find your Levels under Image Adjustment, and there it is, Levels, right there. This Levels image shows you where the picture is, and this white lumpy thing is what represents your image, um, where it sits on the scale of black to 255, which is white. And you can see that there's not a whole lot of 100% white. In fact, there's no 100% white. And if you look at the image, you can see that's correct. There's a lot of gray. There's not a lot of white. You can also see that there's no true black. Um, if you look at the image, that's a little harder to see, but there's certainly not much black there. And then this represents the midtones. So I'm going to grab the slider that represents white, and I'm going to drag it down so that now some of my image is above white. And you can notice now this is probably 100% white right here. And we're going to do the same thing with the blacks. We're going to grab the blacks, and we're going to drag them up to here. And there we go. Now some of the image, this part of the image is black, and this part of the image is white. And then the center is where, where the midtones are. And as you slide it this way, you'll see the picture gets lighter as you slide it to your left. That's because more of the image is being pushed towards the white, right? And I'm going to leave it right about there, which I think is a reasonable place to put it. Um, and you can see the, uh, now we've got the grass is a little brighter. The whole lighthouse is a little brighter. It's starting to look a little bit more interesting. Then we're going to go to the hue and saturation adjustment layer. I'm going to add that. That's added on top. Okay. And we can just we can goose the uh, the saturation a little bit in and of itself, and that makes the picture uh, brighter and the color is more intense. But you need to be careful because there's a lot of red in this picture. And what we really want to work on are the blues because there's very little blue in this sky and we'd like to get all the blue that exists in that sky out and very visible. And we'd also like to work on this grass because the grass is looking a little bit pathetic here. So um, I'm going to go here. We just did the master saturation. You can see it's on master. I'm going to go to blue. And now I have chosen the blue. And right, what we've got down here is something that determines um, what we're affecting, okay? So one thing you can always do is you can grab your little eyedropper with a plus on it, and if you click, oh, I clicked the rock by mistake, so let's do a little control Z or command Z action there. Okay, and this makes sure that we have the blues that are actually in the photograph are in there. The other thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this and pull it down out of that purple. And the reason is because I don't want any of the purple in there. There's actually some purple in there. I don't want any of that to be highlighted. Now, once I have the blues, I 
move the saturation up. Now, there we go, 100% saturation. Looks pretty goofy, and you can really see the purple. Um, and if we back it off until it starts to look reasonable, we get it right about here, and now we have a fair amount of blue. I mean, considering that there was absolutely none when we started, we have, you know, some blue in the picture. We can do the same thing with the greens, right? This is the greens that we have. I'm going to grab my little plus eyedropper and make sure that I'm actually sampling greens that exist in this, right? And I want to make sure that I'm getting the green, not the yellow, okay? And to that end, I'm going to pull this out of the red and the yellow so that it is more firmly in the green area and grab this and pull this out of the blue. And then now we can move the saturation up on the greens. Again, if we move it all the way up, actually, you don't see a lot of change there, do you? I may not have enough of the right colors. Let's grab, make sure the right color. Ooh, now we got something, huh? Okay, so back it off. Now we're starting to see the green pop. Okay, and so now we have a picture where the grass is a little greener, right? And I can pull this here, and I can slide it a little bit. I mean, I can slide it radically, right? And that's really not what we want. Right? But here we go. Slide a little bit back like this. Um, okay, I can I can buy that, right? And. The last thing I might try, I don't know if you can see if we have a little sharpening up here. Uh, not so much. Ah, here's the vibrance. If I grab the vibrance, I can pull the vibrance up. And remember, vibrance affects a slightly different area than saturation, so it's a lot harder to overdo it with the vibrance. Uh, I'm still going to, you know, not push it too far. But there we go, I have added some vibrance. And so in the end, this photograph is, uh, looks like a lot nicer looking day than the original day when we started. Remember, this is, this is what it looked like originally. Right there, that was it. And now we've got that. So I think that's better. Um, and then we would uh, save it and you know, it would all be good.